Now, it's three things in Louisiana that everybody can get along with. Crawfish, LSU football, and that Mardi Gras. <laughs> Man, y'all already know what time it is with me. Oh, now, I already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man, before I start my video, bro. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification all. So, anytime I drop a video, just like this one right here, you'll be notified. ASAP Rocky. You can hop on and we can kick it and we can vibe. You feel me? Now, just like I said, Mardi Gras was a time... If you wasn't there, you had to be there. I don't want to hear no stories about somebody else that you done heard that told you about Mardi Gras. You had to be there at Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras was a time where you would see 14-year-olds drinking with their peoples because it's Mardi Gras. You feel me? All rules is off when it come down to Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is a time where you can see a lot of uh shaking and a lot of uh shaking. And, and to be honest with you, Bro, you just sitting there like, damn, they wildin', bro. You feel me? Why y'all think white folks in Louisiana really can dance like that? You feel me? They be jigging and shit. Because of Mardi Gras, certain things, bro, that go on in the booth is, is so culture. Like, to us, Mardi Gras is a holiday. <laughs> you hear me? That's a whole holiday that we made up on. Well, I'm not going to say we made it up. But... You don't got Mardi Gras in other states. Like, I ain't heard about no Mardi Gras in no Texas, Mississippi. None of that. I guess it's because I ain't never really just lived out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a boot baby to the death of me. You feel me? So, Mardi Gras was a time where white and black folk really like, you feel me? And now, I'm not saying that white and black folk don't. But what I'm saying is, if, if you didn't go to high school, middle school, elementary with this man, you feel me? I wouldn't care if you was a hood dude, and I, and I wouldn't care if you was a country dude. You feel me? If you didn't go to school with this person, they would not mess with you, bro. It's because y'all cut from two different cloths. You feel me? You over here hustling as a street dude. This dude over here in the woods shooting deers and shit. It's different, bro. It's levels to this. You see what I'm saying? I'm not. Now, in some in some parts, it is kind of prejudice. I'm not even going to hold you. And, not, and that's not just for the white folk. Black folk be prejudiced, too. Why the hell you brought that white girl in my house? You feel me? Why the hell you brought this black dude in my... You feel me? It's different, bro. Right? So, one day I'm cooling. My partner Chris is like, hey, bitch, I'm finna go to Mardi Gras. You trying to come with me? I'm like, man, I done heard so much about Mardi Gras, bro. Let me, let me, uh, let me hit my mom up and see what, you know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm already swallowing hard. What you think your mom gonna say? Nigga, don't worry about what my mom gonna say, bro. Just, just chill, just chill. Hello, mama. Um, so Chris said that him and his mama, him and his mama going to Mardi Gras, and I just want to see if I can, I can go to Mardi Gras with Chris and his mama. All right, kid, that's fine. Okay, mama, thank you. Boy, I'm in, boy. Fuck you talking about me. Come on, roll up, bitch. Roll up. So my, me and my boy, we rolling up. Now we blowing down. Now as me and him blowing down, Chris is is lacing my boots up about Mardi Gras. I told y'all it's levels to this, right? And here go the levels. He telling me like, look, bro, it's two type of people at Mardi Gras, right? He say it's families and it's stragglers. I'm like, okay, I know what the families is. He be like, nah, but listen, though, Keith. He say the families, they going to all have spots. Well, what spots? Spots is basically like like they going to have lots, right? So they going to park their cars on these lots. You talking about like on concrete? Nah, bro, in the grass. Oh, okay, 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 okay. They going to park their cars in the grass, bro, and everybody going to let their tailgate down, and they going to tailgate, bro. They going to start cooking, you know what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop, in the third. I'm like, okay, well, why are you telling me this? He said, because they important. He say, the families, they'll see stragglers. What stragglers? I'll get to that in a minute. <coughs> all right, all right, continue, Nick. Now, the families will be like, they'll see the stragglers walking, and they'll be like, hey, y'all hungry? You want a beer? You thirsty? You feel me? Y'all got spots? Well, God damn it, come on in, right? I'm like, okay, okay. He like, and also, too, bro, like, they real cool. You feel me? But if they if they offer you something, don't deny it. Just take it. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then he started breaking down basically on shit like, you know, we'll walk up and they be like, you hungry? You thirsty? Yeah. Well, come on, goddamn, come on, sit down. Luann, Luann, get them a beer. Y'all drink beer? 
What kind of beer you drink? Bud Light? Luann, get the Bud Light. Yeah, they, 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 they want the Bud Light. The cold ones. Not the one on my truck, the cold ones. You hungry? You hungry too? Well, goddamn boy, we got some chicken, some meat on the grill. Luann made the beans, right? <laughs> We're not going to ask who made the potato salad, right? <laughs> but goddamn, we got some mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, mac and cheese. We got everything. And if you're hungry, come on, sit on down. We got some four out chairs. Y'all go ahead and sit on down, right? Leslie, come here. This is my daughter, Leslie, right here. This is her brother, Michael. Michael, Leslie, these are our new friends right here. Shake hands. Y'all go ahead. This is what he tell me. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. He like, but then you got the stragglers. I'm like, so what's the stragglers? He said, us. I said, us? Wait a, wait a minute, Chris. I'm, I'm not a straggler. Because stragglers sound like I'm homeless. You feel me? He like, nah, bro, look, 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 look. It's going to be people just like us just walking around. We ain't with the family. You feel me? The stragglers are just groups of people who just walk up and down the script. You feel me? You get in where you fit in on some shit. I'm like, okay. Okay, I get that. I get that. I get that. He said, but it's rules and regulations to both sides, though, King. You feel me? I'm like, okay. He said, with the stragglers, bro, he was like, just don't be caught by yourself on some shit. You feel me? You got to be together, right? And if anybody offer you anything from the family side, don't deny it, right? But the stragglers don't get caught by yourself. I'm like, okay, cool. I got it. I got it. I got it. So me and my boy end up ugh, shooting up to the Mardi Gras. He also told me that we had to get up there early because they end up closing the street down. I believe it was like 3 o'clock maybe. That might be a little too late. But somewhere in that point in time, he telling me we got to get up there because if we don't, then we're going to have to walk miles just to get to where we want to be at. I'm like, all right, bet that. So we're up there shooting up to the motherfucking me, uh, to the Mardi Gras parade or whatever. You feel me? We get up there and now you see, like, I, I'm starting to see what my, what my kinfolk telling me because once we get there, and before they shut the roads down, you know, you got cars going back and forth trying to find them a little spot. You got a whole bunch of people, you feel me, that's with the families that's pulling up where they family be at. Boop, boop, boop. Everybody pull up on the little grass. Just like my boy was telling me in the little lot, you feel me, motherfuckers in there be playing cornhole, motherfuckers throwing the football on the grass, you feel me, all type of shit going on with the families, right? And then as I keep looking around, I see a whole bunch of stragglers. You feel me? I'm talking about big group, big groups of girls, big groups of dudes. You feel me? Motherfucker walk around that bit cup already full. Motherfucker walk around that bit thugging. You hear me? Smoking. Everything like the cops were so lax. It was cool. So I'm like, okay, they 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 Mardi Gras right here. He said, nah, bro, the fun don't start until they have until they uh um, shut the roads down and shit, right? So I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, so what a parade and she's like, that bitch don't come to like seven, eight. That's why it's a tailgate, you feel me? We're gonna tailgate, we're gonna walk, we're gonna see who we can see, and we're gonna thug this bitch out, you feel me, until it's time for us to, you know what I mean? I'm like, all right, bet that, bet that, bet that. So we get out there, bro, and the road closed. Boom, when the road closed, bro, everybody and they mama in a row in time. You got motherfuckers on four uh uh four wheelers, little dirt bikes and shit, you feel me? You got motherfuckers playing football in the road, throwing it or whatnot. You got motherfuckers like it just all types of motherfuckers playing beer pong and shit, motherfuckers getting loaded on that gas, you feel me? You got motherfuckers drinking syrup, you got motherfuckers serving motherfuckers out. So it, it just so much going on. At this point in time, right? So I'm like, damn, boy, this it. Like, how the fuck? I ain't never, like, been to Mardi Gras, bro. Like, that crazy, bro. So we all out there just thugging, right? <clears throat> we end up running into some dudes that we know from school. I'm like, man, what's happening, bitch? Like, y'all good? They like, hell yeah, yeah, bitch, what y'all doing up here? Man, we thugging, bitch, what you doing up here? Same, same. Y'all on that straddle shit, huh? I said, hell yeah, where you at, bitch? Where y'all posted up? Oh, we down here. Come on, come on, come on. So we end up. Walking with the kinfolk, you feel me? Walking, big ass groups of girls. Yeah, how how y'all doing? Hey, hey. Well, she was thinking, for not the one in the red, bro. You can have the one in the blue. You feel me? Even though that is my favorite color. <laughs> you feel me? But the one in the red was looking a little spicy. You hear me? I ain't lying to you, kid. So we out there really just eyeballing shit on shit like, man, mm, that's what God. Mm. But then all of a sudden, everything my partner was telling me. That's going to happen started to happen. I'm talking about motherfucker walking up to you on the shit while you walking. Y'all hungry? You you, you want a bill? Luann! 
What, what kind of beer y'all drink? Bud Light? Luann, get the Bud Light. They want Bud Light. You hungry? Yeah, we got some goddamn meat on the grill. Some chicken. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to ask who made the potato salad. <laughs> yeah. We got some goddamn mac and cheese. Mashed potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This my daughter, Leslie. That's her brother, Michael. You know, Leslie, Michael. These are your new friends right here. Shake hands, goddamn y'all. Y'all meet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all got a spot yet? Well, huh, he go afford that chair. Y'all go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Yeah, we all family around here. Yeah, we we all family around here. Yeah, I know. I've been knowing uh the Johnsons. The Johnsons been coming up here for at least like Johnsons. When y'all about ten years? Yeah, about ten years. The Johnsons. They've been up here. The Sanders. The Sanders. They stay up here. You know, they they're party people. You know. Yeah. So yeah, my name's Bob. Right. Nice to meet you. Okay. Woo. So I'm like, damn, my boy really like predicted the future on some that's so raven type shit. Just feed me. So they 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 low key feeding me. I ain't really with the drinking. I'm just passing the drinks off. Cause like my boy said, don't deny what anybody give you. Cause they gonna feel disrespected. Right? So time go on, bruh. Nightfall hit one. Nightfall hit that when everything really kind of crank up. You feel me? Because that when you see like your little doughboys out there, they making their little moves. You see your girls, the, the females out there, they they throwing their back. You feel me? And I'm talking about, bro, the females out there in Mardi Gras, when they dress, they dress. And sometimes they really don't be having nothing on. You hear me? Nothing. Right? You get exposed to so much as a kid on Mardi Gras. You get exposed to so much as a kid on Mardi Gras. Hold on. Let me see what we're going on. Yo, we good? Hey, what's, going on? what's going on, man? Hey, nah, she's not here right now. Here. Uh -uh, what we doing? No, okay. We just have a call about our account, That's the bet. I got you. Already. So nighttime fall, right? So when nighttime fall, we 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 really seeing a whole bunch of shit like, you know what I'm saying, being take play. But at the same time, when you see certain things, you see but you don't see. All right, you see what you don't see, and also too, I'm realizing real quick why a lot of kids in Louisiana are the way they is. Because I'm talking about you had motherfuckers that whoa, I'm like, oh wait a minute, boy, hell no, nah. I'm talking about throwing it back, <laughs> throwing it back. You feel me? Going hard. That's why the white folk be dancing the way they be dancing in Louisiana because of Mardi Gras. I'm telling you, bro, it hit way different, bro. I don't want to hear nothing about oh my my cousin told me about a about Mardi Gras. Did you go? Nuh-uh. Well, you don't know. Facts. You have to be there, bro. I'm talking about I seen so much. I like, damn, but it's it right here. You feel me? So, late on that night come through, right? Now, I end up running to the light-skinned chick. Now, if you are OG to my stories, you've been listening to me for a little minute. March 29th marks a whole year I've been doing YouTube you feel me? I'm proud of myself. It's just another accomplishment, another stepping stone that, you know, I want to be able to get to. And and and, and I done done it. Well, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? Make a whole year just doing YouTube, just thugging, grinding, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So, if you are OG to my stories, you know about the light-skinned chick that I told y'all about. The same one that my that when her mama came to pick her up, I was like, "Mama, I I don't I don't know why she came over because I did not tell her to come over here, right?" That's that same girl that my homeboy showed me a video of of her sucking them up on on the slide. I mean, on the swing. You feel me? And and I was like, "Damn, is that? Damn, that is her, bro." And I felt play. This was her. Now, this had already taken place. You feel me? So when I see she said, "Hey, key, hey, key," I'm just like. Man, you got me fucked up, you feel me? But then I get to looking at her, and I'm like, damn, she looking thick in the mother. Man, I'm finna try to see if I can smash, bro. That was the only thing on my mind, bro. I'm finna try to see if I can smash, bro. For real, for real, bro. And that's exactly what I did. I had got her real comfortable. She was out there drinking and shit, you feel me? We smoking and everything. So I had to, uh, 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 dip from my boy Chris. Cut it, cut it, hey, cut it. Real quick on some shit, you feel me? Found us a little spot and made it happen. Now, I get back to my boy Chris. It's starting to be nighttime, right? The parade come and that big going stupid.
stupid. I'm talking about we ain't that big. They they throw, bro, at the at the Mardi Gras parade, bro. They throw beads, right? Now, our biggest thing is, yes, y'all, I know a lot of y'all who don't celebrate Mardi Gras, you'll be like, bro, y'all some grown-ass people catching beads. Yes, because the thing is, bro, it's not about, as a kid, it's about how many beads do you catch. Do you got more beads than your cousin and all that? As an adult, we look for the cool beads. We not really trying to get a whole bunch of bees. Like I want the I want the 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 breast bees. You know what I'm saying? They got like the those type of bees. You know what I'm saying? They got uh they got all types of bees, bro. But they got cool type bees too that you can kind of like keep as like a souvenir for you. Be like, man, I remember that one year at that Mardi Gras bit. Woo -woo, you feel me? So we out there catching bees and shit. Not only do they throw bees, they throwing food too, my nigga. They throwing food. Frisbees, footballs, pickles and shit, bag of popcorn, you feel me? Now, I'm glad they ain't do no shit like Roman noodles. Don't nobody want no noodles, bitch. If you throwing noodles, nigga, get mad in the hole, but we probably still gonna pick that shit up. I ain't gonna hold you. But then you might want to inspect that, you feel me? The floats was cool as hell, bro. Like, they had bands and shit out there. Like, it was like, it was dope, you feel me? Like, that experience with the Mardi Gras was so dope. So later on that night after everything happened, it started raining hard as fuck. Now my homeboy, we ended up running to my homeboy AP. AP rest his soul. If you know, you know, right? AP rest his soul, man. He had got in a motorcycle accident. You know what I'm saying? And uh that touched that touched the community, you feel me? Cause he was a well, real respected and liked guy for a white boy. You feel me? And AP, like I said, he was a white boy, but he was one of them dudes that like he always was funny. You feel me? His ass was not athletic at all. You feel me? But anytime somebody would say something, he'd be like, "You cracking? Is you cracking?" And I'm talking about that man had jokes for days, bro. Like, like I'm talking about like pause moment real quick. Cause I'm thinking about my boy AP. We all used to uh when we played football. My 10th grade year, I got the concussion, right? So my 10th grade year, bro, me, AP, my cousin, you know what I mean? Like it was a whole bunch of sophomores. That, that didn't play on varsity, you feel me? We was JV, but we was out there just in case something happened. So we'll be on the bus, and soon we get off the bus, that bit AP be like, uh-uh, Key, you know where we going, to the bench. And I'm talking about, we'll sit on the bench, bro, and just be roasting all night, you feel me? Like, those are moments, bro, that, that you never forget when, 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 it's, when it's your dogs, when y'all... You know what I'm saying? You playing basketball, you playing football, you was in the band, whatever you were doing, bro, and y'all all traveling. And you, It's so many, like, memories that you have with different people that will be stuck with you forever, you feel me? AP, rest your motherfucking soul. You hear me? I know he looking down on me right now, like, look at Key, bro. Look at him, thugging, you feel me? So AP like, man, y'all come down here, bro. You know my daddy a cop, his cop car right here, wound. So we, we all in the cop car. I'm high as hell. Hey, Pete, cut the lights on, big. Cut the lights on, big. Cut the nah, cut the lights on. Make that big go. Wee, wee, wee. You hear me? So we're in that bitch just dug him. And I go. Hey, bitch, where my phone, bitch? Where my ow? Oh, oh hell no, nah, I ain't got my phone. I ain't got now I'm panicking, right? I ain't had no iPhone. I had one of the phones that did like this. Oh, hold on. I had one of the phones that that bitch was about that big, but that bitch did this. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that motherfucking sidekick. I had the sidekick at the time, bro, and I don't know where my phone is. Now I'm panicking because I know off the rip, even though I'm like 15, you feel me? If I don't come home with that, if I don't come home with that phone, it's up. You feel me? My mama gonna beat the dog shit out of me because I done lost the damn phone. So now I'm like, bitch, call my phone, bitch, call my phone, bitch, call my phone, right? We steady calling, steady calling, steady calling, steady calling. Then all of a sudden, my boy get a call back. Hello? I'm like, hey, oh, where my phone at? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for my phone. They like, oh, it said such and such store. Somebody picked it up, had mud all over, and they brought it over here. You know, woo woo. And I'm like, bet. So me and Chris, uh, strike out, right? I think AP went with us too. We all strike out. Mm, go get the phone. Phone muddy as fuck. But there was that one. There was a type of phone that like that had that battery in the back. You feel me? Like you could drop that bitch in the battery fall. That was one of them type of phones. So I, you know, what I'm saying, clean everything off, make sure everything good. Woo, 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 put the battery back in, and then that bitch 
that be working, you hear me? That night was probably one of the most epic nights of my life. That was my first Mardi Gras. All right? Once I started going to Mardi Gras a lot, I started to see more things, right? I became a part of the family because the person I was with, her family always had spots, right? So I would go into my man hug, get loaded as fuck, go up there, be high as fuck, eating up every motherfucking thing. I wasn't no drinker, you feel me? So I ain't drink. I just like to smoke. I go down to the park because we was at the duck pond. In the daytime, you know, it's families out there, so they ain't trying to smell no, you know what I mean? You just cooling. At nighttime, though, that's when all the motherfuckers really be out there smoking, thugging, doing all them, right? So it was the white boy named Scooter. Scooter was my, the, the chick I was with, her youngest brother, homeboy. They call him Scooter because he told me, I asked him, like, bro, why they call you Scooter? But I used to call him Scoop. I'm like, man, why they call you Scoop, bitch? He was like, because I always used to be on the back of my granddaddy's Scooter. So they just called me Scooter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So Scooter was one of them white dudes that, like, you would have thought Scooter grew up in a black household. You feel me? But his family was white, white. Like, I'm talking, like, yeah, like, deer hunting. Like, like I'm talking, like, camo down. I'm talking shoot, shoot type shit. You feel me? So, but they was cool people, though. You feel me? Like, all of them were cool. Scooter used to always come up to the uh, Mardi Gras with us, right? So, we'd be thugging, doing our thing, right? Scooter was like a youngin who, like, he, he'll do anything on some shit, you feel me? Scoot, Scooter crash out on some real shit, you feel me? And he, and, he, and he was not scared, bro, for a little skinny young white kid. Scooter was not scared, bro. So, I'm sitting there posted. You know, by this time, I got kids. So, Scooter come up to me. He like, hey, bitch, I'm going down at the park. Come on. I'm like, all right. This little white kid, young white kid, he had an onion on him. You feel me? So, he trying to get off. On with the onion. Now the black kid was like, hey, yeah, come on, meet us at the park, meet us at the park. Scoot had already seen the plate. He like, come on, be, come on, be. So we at the top of the hill, and they at the bottom, down about the, the playground and shit. The dude pulling out the onion, yeah, I want this much for it. Woo. The black dude's like, huh, let me see that bit. Yeah, yeah, better be. Ooh, that bit some pressure. Next thing you know, bro, one of the black dudes. Had the knucks on, the brass knuckles on them, and mom wrapped the white boy, sleep, man, took his shit, ran his pockets, got up out of the, me and Scoop just sitting at the top of the hill, like, damn, they ain't even have to do for like that, bro. They could at least left them like a seven scoop, you feel me? Like, they could have left them a quarter, dog. They ain't have to take the whole 28, bro. That's selfish as hell, bro. Damn, bro. They could have, they, 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 they could have at least like came up here and broke bread with a nigga or something, you feel me? Give us like a couple nugs, bro, like, you feel me? So me and Scoop Josen off this shit. Now, like I told y'all, if y'all know what Josen is, it's just basically killing time. You feel me? When you Josen off somebody, you just killing time off of that person or whatever case that y'all doing, y'all, y'all cracking jokes on each other, y'all vibing, whatever, you just Josen with that person. So me and Scoot Joseph off the shit, you feel me? And then, like, later on that night, we just chilling, bitch. And then he like, hey, but I got a lick. I'm like, what's happening? And he like, man, uh, you know, uh, your peoples. Well, Scoot was was the peoples, too, you feel me? But Scoot was like, man, you know, uh, the two the two older people that came, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Because I think the, the woman name was, like, Rebecca. And then the old dude, I don't know who the old dude was, you feel me? But I ain't going to hold you. Rebecca was kind of thick at that point in time, bro. I ain't going to lie. She was kind of thick, you feel me? But the old dude, he looked off a little bit. And he was tall and fat, fat, beer belly for real, for real. And he was a drunk. Like, when he get drunk, he just on some shit. We just like, yeah. School like, bro, look. And they call. They got, like, two, three big-ass clear jaws. Of like some moonshine, kid. I'm telling you, I think that's moonshine, bro. And he was like, "You think I should go get that bit?" I'm like, "Man, go get that bit, and me and you gonna bust that bit down. You feel me? Whatever you can get and grab out, bro. Go ahead, I'm gonna be a lookout. So I'm looking out for school while he over there getting the moonshine on shit. He can grab two big ass, uh, two big ass 
Jaws, boom, he gave me one, and then he had took one. So I crack it open, I start sipping, I realize real quick, did why I don't drink. Because that moonshine was like strong and full. Like the moonshine, bro, if you ain't never had moonshine, you could be sick and drink moonshine, and I promise you that shit going to open you up and you're going to be good, bro. Moonshine strong, bro. And don't let it be that white lightning shit. You feel me? So I'm sipping it, I'm sipping it, I'm sipping it, and I'm like, okay, that's enough because this shit burn too much as it go down. I don't know if old boy said something. I don't know if old girl said something. But next thing you know, motherfuckers start tripping about the moonshine, right? So I told school, like, big goat, come on. We're going to put this... We're going to put this in our car. We finna peel off. We ain't trying to hear nothing about none of this. So we end up putting that bitch in my car. You feel me? Me and Scoop peel out. We joking about this shit. You feel me? We joking. We laughing, bro. Like, Mardi Gras was a time, and it still is a time, where it didn't matter if it was beef in the city. It didn't matter if motherfucker didn't like motherfucker, whatever it may be. When it came down to Mardi Gras, bro, it was just so family oriented. Like now, don't get me wrong. Like when the when when the black dudes popped off on the white boy, right? You have to understand, and this is why my partner Chris told me what he told me way back when I that was my first Mardi Gras, right? Because what I the story I just told you, it's been years after I had went to Mardi Gras, with Chris. Chris told me, if you a straddler, don't be caught by yourself by other straddlers, because of that same situation that just happened. They both were straddlers, right? The white boy was trying to get off the little uh the little onion, you feel me? The black dudes finessed him into thinking that she was gonna be sweet, brought him down, bro, to the park where they knew nobody would be at, at night. At nighttime, bro, none of the kids is down at the park. So all the families, they don't be down at the park. That's where the straddlers be at now. At nighttime, Everybody who just walking around doing their own thing, that's where they kicking it at. At that park, bro, or down there by that little trail, you feel me? So, Chris say, if you are straddling, you by yourself, don't be around. Don't get caught by no other straddlers. Why? Because Kim Folk down there got his jaw wide for an onion. And they left that boy there. You feel me? And I know what you probably thinking. Like, damn, Key, why you ain't go help him? That's none of my business. That's none of my business. You feel me? Mardi Gras is a time where everybody just jail. You know, it's a time where, like I say, you be 14, 15, then your family throwing you beers, letting you drink, letting you get drunk as fuck. You feel me? Like, if you ain't never experienced Mardi Gras, I know I just painted you a pretty picture and I ain't talking about Ross, but you have to go and you have to experience what I just talked about. Mardi Gras is our holiday in Louisiana. All right? That's our holiday. And we stand on that. It ain't nothing like Mardi Gras, bro. It ain't nothing like seeing the women out there. It ain't nothing like dancing out there, smelling that good food. Bro, you smell food for miles, bro. For miles, everybody and their mama out there cooking. Everybody and their mama out there having fun. You see the little kids throwing the football, bro. You see motherfuckers riding up and down the street on the little four wheelers, you feel me? I'm talking about you could be a straddler, bro. You could be a straddler, motherfucker, throw you the football on accident. Next thing you know, now you in a now you in a pickup game with these boys. You feel me? Now, now you out here throwing to somebody the kid because the kid accidentally threw you the ball. You threw it back and they, hey, no, 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 no. Go back a little farther. And now, and, and and that was the biggest thing too. Who could throw it? Who can throw the football the farthest? I remember one time, bro, we was out there throwing that bit right, and then uh, Kim Folk, Pablo, you feel me? Pablo ended up throwing the ball, and he threw that bit so fucking far, and it's kind of not where we was at. So a, a little kid got hit. Bomb, and we like, oh shit! You know how it is, bro. When motherfucker hit, bro. Everybody trying to scatter into the crowd, cause don't nobody like who threw the ball. You know how it is. Who hit my baby? Ain't nobody trying to confess up to that, bro. Mardi Gras was a good time to be alive, bro, and it still is, man. Like I said, if you ain't never been, y'all have to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all my experience, and that was just only a little bit. It's so much I could talk about with Mardi Gras. It's so much things that happened. 
You know, even even like to the point where like I messed up. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, I messed up at Mardi Gras, and you know, you know what? I don't even want to talk about that situation. But just know, like I did mess up. I made mistakes. Matter of fact, I will. I, I'll briefly talk about it. So basically, my little yeah, she had a stepsister who was a little younger. You feel me? And then I tried to like basically ask her like she what's happening with that you feel me and then uh that backfired because she ended up telling her stepdaddy who was my yeah daddy so when mardi gras came around bro everybody was already looking at me like what the fuck but i ain't know it right so when some shit pop off and you the main topic you not gonna know it till you hit the fan and then her daddy come up to me. He mad at fuck, saying, woo, woo, "Why would you say this?" Da, 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 da. I'm like, "Damn!" Like, woo, woo. I tried to, I tried to peel out. You feel me? But my little yeah at the time I was like, "Nah, if I gotta take it, you gotta take it too." So not only was it embarrassing as hell for her, it was embarrassing as hell for me because of the person that I was trying to smash, which was her stepsister. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like it was just a big chaotic moment, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, everybody really looking at me like you foul, you dirty, you this, you that. You feel me? Like everybody was judging me for that mess up right there. You know what I'm saying? And that happened at Mardi Gras, bro. You know, like like it's so much that happens at Mardi Gras. It's so much that can happen at Mardi Gras, and there's so many people to where it's like certain things you're not gonna catch. Right, the reason I had told y'all that a little bit when I was talking about my little yeah and her stepsister and whatever because I ain't perfect, I made mistakes, you know what I'm saying, and I'm man enough to own up to my mistakes, you know what I'm saying. So, I'm not gonna apologize for nothing, I just know, like, I just know, like, instead of me saying some shit like, oh, and it's just kind of like off subject, instead of me saying something like, oh, I'm sorry for what I did, or woo woo woo. But then you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. You're not sorry. Your apology was like trash. Like, cause you keep doing the same thing. But if you like, if you own up to your mistakes and then you start doing things that shows instead of you telling, you showing, you actually doing things, you putting in that work and your behavior change, you're not doing the same thing over and over and over. That speaks more volume than somebody telling you, I'm sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? At that time, I was young. I was dumb. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really know how to treat a woman. I ain't know how to value my own self or anything like that. You know, and uh, you always got to go through something to learn something, right? That's why I say, like, now I move with action instead of words. So when somebody say something to me and they speaking to me, I'm like, okay, that's cool. You made that sound good, but I want to see you actually doing what you said that you was going to do. Facts. But look, man, I want to ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and motherfucking wisdom. And if it ain't that, I said, we only ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now, now I appreciate everybody who's been rocking my videos, man. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. I appreciate everybody who's just really just vibing and rocking out with the kids. You know what I'm saying? It, like I said, on the 29th, bro, it had been a whole year me been doing YouTube. Uh, and I'm proud of myself for that because I'm going to tell you right now, for anybody who think that they could just hop on YouTube and just push out content and do this and do that and, like, and you ain't got that buzz that you looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say, like, like right now, I got 73 subscribers, right? A lot of y'all quit already. Because in your mind, you feel like, man, I should at least have, like, 2.5 thousand views. I mean, 2.5 thousand subscribers within my first year, bro. But, you know, like, I feel like certain sometimes, like, you get put in that test to see if you can even handle that, right? Because... Everybody want fame, everybody want the glory, everybody want this, everybody want that, everybody want that viral moment, right? But you ain't even built yourself up for that. Because once you get exposed to that viral moment and everybody looking at you now, but you ain't got nothing to back up from what you did, then you 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 gonna sink and you're gonna sink quick. See what I'm saying? Like I told you, I'm not worried about going viral. I'm not worried about this, I'm not worried about that. I just worry about my message and what I put out. 
You know what I'm saying? Like my image and, and, and not necessarily how people look at me because I don't care about how people look at me, but what I'm saying, what I'm speaking about, you know what I'm saying? Like your words hold so much power in it. And that's, just, that's something that I honestly feel like a lot of people don't understand when it comes down to doing social media. You see what I'm saying? Right now, what I'm doing is, all I'm doing is just keep perfecting my craft, keep perfecting my craft, and just putting a product out there. Because at the end of the day, if the product is good, so many people is going to come. So many people is going to just vibe out to it. And, and I ain't got to beg for nothing. Now, one thing I do do is if I see you, you know what I'm saying, and you seem like you're cool, I don't care who you is, bro. I'm going to ask you, where you watch YouTube? Yeah, I watch YouTube. Hey, well, go. Man, look, I, I'm doing YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what's your name on YouTube? OMG Keys. O-M-G-K-E-E-Z. Oh, okay, bro, I'm, 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 I'm going to go subscribe for you. Man, I appreciate that. And they do. You feel me? Like, they right there, they show me, like, yeah, bro, that's you right here? Yeah, that's me right there. Okay, there you go. Boom, subscribe. Man, I appreciate that. Man, all oh, love, bro. All oh, look, keep doing what you're doing. Bet. You ain't even watched not one of my videos, but you say keep doing what you're doing. And it be stuff like that, right? That really just, that really like humble you to make you be like, man, it be people out here, bro, that I probably don't even know who watch my videos. And they be just waiting on that, waiting on my video pop up, waiting on me to put a short out. You feel me? Waiting to hear what's my next message and what I'm about to say. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you right now, bro, it's a lot of people who ain't got guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And I ain't claiming to be the man who know everything because not one man knows everything in this world. It don't work like that. But I've been through situations and I can talk about the situations that I've been through to try to help and better somebody that's going through or maybe about to go through a situation that I talked about or something similar. OK, like I said, I don't claim to know everything, but what I've been through, I know and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to share my experiences and, 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 and hopefully it catches somebody ear and they listen and they slow down from what they're doing. Right. Because here's the thing, you can see me doing what I do, right? And you'll be like, dang, bro, I want to do exactly what he doing right now, woo, 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 right? But you don't know what I had to go through to get here, right? Because if you was to walk in my shoes before all of this, with me being on dope, with, 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 with everything that I went through with being... With me and the kids coming out here on two trash bags full of clothes, moving a whole nother state just to, you know what I'm saying, escape the things that was going on out there in Shreveport, right? You wouldn't want to go through that, right? You would just want to be in my shoes for when I bought the house, when I bought my truck, when I bought my old lady her car, you know what I'm saying? And, and the certain things that I provide for now, me get, me having a truck driving job, me doing a YouTube, me doing a content career, you would want to hop in my shoes for that, but you wouldn't want to hop in my shoes for everything that was in my past. And to be honest with you, it's a lot of people who wouldn't make it because I almost didn't make it. See what I'm saying? So y'all just be grateful for what you got out here, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go in and see what we're going to do for dinner tonight. And I just want to come out here and talk my ish, bro. I want to be more consistent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my uncle, my uncle support supports me so much and it's a whole bunch of things that's going on you know what i'm saying with his situation and i'm not gonna speak on that because that's not my place to speak on his situation but the bond that i'm now growing with him you know what i'm saying it make me want to go harder with this youtube it make me want to go harder with this content creating because he believes in me my mom believes in me you know what i'm saying by the time my kids get older, they'll be able to see all these videos and be like, damn, look at Pop's little ball head uh. Now you see a little ball head uh, I see him out there speaking. Especially when they can really just understand what I'm talking about and have the knowledge to be like, okay, I, I see what you're saying, Pop. That's what I do it for. I do it for youngins. I do it for people who really want to listen and pay attention to certain things. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that, man, I already knew it. Time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now. I'm just keeping it a bang, dog. For real, for real.